YouTube, what's up? Back again for another daily fishing video here on Andrew Up Trail Fishing. First and foremost, I have to say a big thank you to you guys. We did officially hit 20,000 subscribers last night. Couldn't do it without you. Really, really do appreciate it. I'm really excited to hit that number. It was a big goal of mine, so just to hit it was a, a really big deal. But hey guys, today we're going to talk about the difference between search mode and hunt mode. What I consider the differences between those two whenever I'm using my side view on my Garmin Echo Map Ultras. It's a really a, a difference in depending on what I'm looking for and how I'm looking for it. So we're going to break it down a little bit. I'm going to show you a few of my settings that I have on my Echo Map and to help you find more fish. But hey, real fast though, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel and you're, you like this content, hit that sub button. Make sure you ring that bell so you're notified every time I have a new video. And the biggest thing that you can do the biggest way that you can help me is to like the video. So make sure you hit that like button. And comment below if this video actually works and helps you on the water. So let's just dive right on into it. When it comes to side imaging, there's a couple of different things that I always have set up on my units. Uh, first off, I'm, it depends on which mode I'm in. And I say mode, there's not a specific mode on my Echo Map Ultras. It has everything to do with, in mentally, what mode am I in? Am I looking for fish or am I looking for cover? And it really depends on that. So if I'm looking for fish, I typically have my unit set at 40 feet. So what that means is, in this situation, we're sitting in about 17 foot of water. So I can see 17 foot down and I can see the difference out to about 40 foot right here. So. That's the, the, when I'm in hunt mode, when I'm looking for fish, when I'm hunting for fish, that is the mode I'm in. And basically, the reason I pick 40 foot, and this will help you when you're on the water, is I'm picking 40 because I'm doubling the depth of which I think the fish are in. So if I think the fish are 20 foot, I'm searching out to 40 because it's A, gonna give me a higher definition on the fish at the side view, but it also is gonna tell me uh, exactly what size they are. So I'm not having to search 100 foot out. Now, if I'm in uh, search mode, what I consider search mode, I'm looking for cover. I'm looking for rock piles. I'm looking for stumps, uh, brush piles, and things like that. I'll simply go right down here on my range and, and I'll hit the minus sign and I'll go out to even about 100 foot. 100 foot is gonna give me a full view out to the side on both sides and I'm able to see anything and everything that I want to see right there. Uh, now, in this particular situation, I'm going to do a couple of different things. I'm going to hit my menu, and I'm going to look at my settings here. So in this situation, I have my contrast set at 59%. My brightness at auto medium. I'm running my Chirp 1070 at 100 foot range, no zoom, okay? And, and that's a really important to make sure you have that. You want to make sure you ha you're set at left and right view selection. Uh, that is my typical setup as far as that goes. Uh, let's see. So now when I'm in what I consider hunt mode, like I said, I'm going back to 40 foot. And let's look at this real quick. So we have our unit set up. We have our contrast set. We, we're sitting at... 59% auto medium. So then I'm gonna go down to what they call sonar setup. It's right here, right below sonar transmit. I'm looking at my scroll speed. I want my scroll speed about five. I don't want it too fast, but I don't want it too slow either. I get a lot of questions as, uh, as far as uh, color scheme. You can go a bunch of different color schemes. We have black emerald, midnight blue, orange crawfish, red shad, orange, inverse gray scale gray there's a lot of different things that you can do here when it comes to finding fish i'm a really big proponent of using copper i love the copper one uh, i've heard some really good things about orange crawfish uh, the other one that i use and this is it's very uh situational but uh if i am fishing grass i really like the inverse gray scale uh it's one that i've always used and had a lot of success with um and here's a few of the new ones we got rusted steel which is a favorite along a, among a bunch of people caribbean uh floodlight ice blue aqua moss amber is is one that i know a lot of guys use as well 
but I think it's pretty, it's better if you just find one that you're very comfortable with and you use that one more so than anything. You know, the number one key when it comes to using your side view that I think is the most important aspect of using side view is to go to a place that you know. If you want to learn how to use it, truly want to know how to use it, go to a place that you already know, like um, a spot that you just know exactly what's down there. You know that the exactly where the brush piles are. You know that maybe there's some fish there. And, and idle over it. Idle around it a few times and use the different... Uh, color patterns that you can find on, on here whether it's your copper or whatever and and just idle around and see what you can see because the deal is is you can fine-tune your unit you can fine-tune all the little settings on there because you already know what you're looking at you're not guessing you're like man is that a fish or is that a, a rock you already know exactly what it is because you fish that spot 150 times so having that insight is gonna help you immensely whenever you're trying to figure out how to use this unit. Just like this spot right here, I fished this spot hundreds and hundreds of times, and this is just where a little creek makes a turn right up here next to a flat. I know exactly what I'm looking at, and I can look at this and say, okay, this is how these fish are gonna get set up. You know, here's a fish here. I already know there's a fish right there. There's a fish there. You know, paying attention to these little things is going to help you, make you better, and to help you, allow you to, to pick the right color palette for the next time you're on the water so you know exactly what you're looking for. If you set your unit up like I have mine right here, I promise you guys it will help you the next time you're on the water. I, I can guarantee if you're running uh, an Echo Map Ultra, and you've got the new 36 transducer this thing it is pretty good and uh one little tidbit because i love throwing little tidbits at the bottom uh, for people who watch the whole video if you want to make a waypoint on your echo map ultra all you do is you drag down you know watch this watch if i just if i just press over here nothing works you see I'm just pressing the screen. Nothing's working. I'm pressing, pressing, pressing. Nothing's working. It's not until you drag down until it actually works. So I, I found a stump over here. I'm going to hit that stump at 58 foot. And you see this little marker up here? Don't hit the mark button down here. Hit the mark button here. And then I can edit my waypoint and do everything I need to do. So now my waypoint is created. We just passed it on the side over there. So, yeah that's that's exactly how you mark your waypoints that's exactly how you use your echo map ultras guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you can make sure to share it with a friend like the video do all those cool things that i know you all do all the time and i'll see you on the next video